All right, first of all, uh, talk about what it's like being one of the most UFC, or one of the UFC's most popular figures right now. Um, it's huge. You know, I still haven't quite gotten used to it. The fact that people want my autograph is still kind of weird to me. But I'm, I'm getting used to it, and I really like the attention I'm getting so far. What's been the biggest change, you think? Has it been that, the attention? Um, yeah, the attention, of course. Um, performing on such a big platform is huge. Actually, having money in my bank account is amazing. So <laughs> that, that's definitely a big change for me. What was life like for you uh, before, you know, in the UFC? Oh, gosh, before I made it to the UFC, I um, was working two jobs, going to school, and training at the same time. So I was really struggling for a long time. But once I made it pro, I was able to propel my career really quickly. So that it was really nice to actually not like chug to the gas station and hope I don't end up pushing it. <laughs> Do you have any broke stories that come to your mind? That oh you really gosh, I've past? ran out of gas more times than I can count and I've had multiple people push my car to the gas station so that's definitely not something I'm gonna miss. I'm sure it's not hard for you to get guys to push your <laughs> it's car It's not, no, station. I always end up getting help which is great. <laughs> really, appreciate that. <laughs> Tough fight with Felice Herring, but it looked pretty uh, fairly easy for you. You dominated the fight. Were you surprised with how well you performed, or did you expect that? Um, you know, a little bit of both. I, I knew how talented I was, and I knew I was prepared for that fight. I anticipated winning. But of course, she's a, he, a big name. She's a veteran in the sport. She looks very strong and athletically sound. So I was really excited I was able to pull, such, pull off such a dominant win. I, I was going out there knowing that I was going to have to throw down and get ready to be in every dangerous uh, situation. And I trained for that. I have great teammates. They put me in every situation that I got into in that fight. So I was very well prepared. She had some things to say about your experience and the whole Reebok sponsorship. What did you think of that when you heard the comments and how do you feel about them now? Um, you know, I get used to them, I guess. I think I'll always be the underdog until someone else comes in and is the underdog. I want to talk to you all. Uh, Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. I was wondering what was going on behind yeah, me. Yeah, there's those... Hey, you're going to have to make my friend. A little distraction. Hold on one second. Can we finish this interview real quick, bro? Oh, bomb. That's the better of it. <laughs> okay. I'm ready now. <laughs> Interviews with Paige Van Zandt. Wow. <laughs> Talk about okay. training with Team Alpha. You got clowns like Chad Mendes and those yeah. guys. What's it like being in that gym? Uh, training's always exciting. You never really know what's gonna happen, and it's always something really funny. So it's great to train with such a fun team and make practice really exciting. And I get to see what it's like to train with champions. And everyone loves going to the gym, and everyone loves training. So it makes uh, the like, all the effort that we put into fighting super easy. I was talking to Joseph Benavides about gym talk and how guys <laughs> have the gym talk. How do you feel? And, and do you? Kind of plug your ears and put on the earmuffs when the guys are talking like guys. Or are you? Oh gosh. Um, are you? Are you part of? Uh, are you close enough to where it doesn't phase you? You know, I'm close enough. It doesn't phase me. I've heard everything about all the guys. And it's pretty bad, but it's fun. It's nice to be a part of such a tight knit group. Everyone's a family at the gym, so it's nice to have that and know that they'll always have my back too. And, and talk about the training that you get there with those guys and, and how they help you out and, and have they helped you get to where you're at now? Do you credit your success? To that I completely do, you know, uh, Uriah especially was a huge part of my training camp. He really, really got me prepared for that fight. And um, every guy, that, all the guys at the gym or even the girls that I train with before my fight, they're like, tell me what you need. Let's get this together. I had different people coming up to me saying, hey, I noticed you're lacking in this area. Let me show you what I do. So it's huge to be a part of a team that cares that much. And I always had someone helping me for this fight. Um, I, I got, I had the best training camp of my life and that's all thanks to Team Alpha Male. Now that you're playing Team Alpha Male officially and, and you know you're in stone, is Alpha Male the best looking team in MMA? <laughs> Duh, especially because I'm there. <laughs> love it, love it. I also wanted to talk about the Reebok deal. Yeah. You seem to be awesomely happy with Reebok. Um, tell us about that and how that came about. Yeah, you know, um, I'm thankful for the Reebok deal. I'm thankful to be a Reebok athlete. That's huge for me. Uh, getting picked up uh, by Reebok after my first UFC fight was unheard of. And you know, I got a little bit of turmoil from the other girls in my weight division and other athletes that didn't get picked up, which I, th I think I always have to prove myself. I, I don't necessarily look like a fighter, so I'm always going to have to prove myself, but it's huge that I got that deal and I'm really thankful for it.